Hey there, potential viewer. Uh, sorry you have to see my face, but it's an unfortunate necessity of this LP, and I'm a little sick, so I'm sorry if I sound somewhat stuffy. But uh, when I recorded the last two, three hours of this game, my software glitched out on me and I lost game audio for those files. Now, what this means for the remainder of the LP, I'm going to have to patch it as best I can, so I'm going to edit in audio for the cutscenes and the monologue bits. But everything else beyond that, it's going to be silent with my commentary, and I'm sorry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly replay the game without recording it, then I will re-record the ending so it will be fixed by that point, and then you'll get my final thoughts there. Now, if you're like, well, there's been, can't you just replay those chapters and record it again? Well, no, unfortunately, White Knight only has one save slot and doesn't allow you... A chapter select after you beat the game so I would literally have to play the entire game over recorded to get those files back how I want them and I really don't want to do that for a third time honestly so sorry I'll do more due diligence and hopefully this won't ever happen again hey guys welcome back to white knight in the last part we basically got the attic open Fully got through the most frustrating room in the game from what a walkthrough told me after I got mad and looked up a couple clues because it felt like BS. So we investigated the projector room of the attic, we've investigated the studio, and pretty much I'm sure that we're only missing one more thing than we're going to be allowed to leave the attic and go to the cellar based on what we saw in the projector room. So we're going to go back to the projector room and see if there's anything left. Of course, of course there was a ghost like right there. Hey buddy, how's it going? Fucking ghost bitches, man. I swear, they're the worst. Egyptian statue at belonged to a museum. Oh, th those floorboards are cracked. Oh, the floor is always too noisy. Well, one floor is too noisy, it always has something to hide. So, yeah, let's peel those open. Alright, we, we gotta wait for our match to die out. And then we're going to be able to peel those boards. Well, that was quick. He said seller was time to descend to the underworld. I don't like that, but it's what we're going to do. Seller was written on the key. My stomach was urging me not to go down there. And shadows ever thicker. Things could only be worse. Well, look at the bright side, dude man protagonist guy. We at least have power back on in the house. Not that that's really going to do fuck all to save our life, but it's something. Selena! Seeing Selena flee strengthened my belief something darker was closing in. A wolf hidden amongst men. It oh felt like shit. finding a lost love, oh, being shit. on the brink of losing it again. Oh shit, the I wolf had to black quick. Is coming. Selena fled men, just like William, the so-called Black Lake Wolf, had fled his mother. I fucking called it that William was the Wolf of Black Lake. The real wolf was in the blood. It was the night of the world. Its fangs, sunken deep in the flesh of America, 
had poisoned us all long ago. Before we descend, I'm gonna refill matches because we're here in this room and I feel like we're gonna need all of the matches. And then we're gonna save while we're in a room full of light. Alright, so yeah, that confirmed a lot of what I thought and that William did indeed kill Selena. I, you know, me and a friend of mine have been talking about this game, Kalissa, and we've pondered back and forth. Is dude man protagonist guy William, it makes sense. But I'm holding out a slight benefit of doubt that this guy's just an unrelated person that somehow walked into this building and got trapped. But I'm starting to feel like he's William with amnesia. Especially like how overly obsessive he's been about Selena and a lot of the other things going on. So let's... Let's head back down. But the wolf amongst men is closing in. Is, is that a blood trail on the ground now? I didn't know what to do with the match. I needed my two hands. <laughs> this. I'm kind of sad that we missed that phone call. You know what? I'm going to reload my save because I really want to be able to pick up that phone. Oh shit, that's you from the beginning! No, it can't be! No! <sighs> you don't have a discussion with yourself every day. At least, not on the phone. The world had folded back on itself like a piece of paper. Oh shit! I didn't want to do more. The harm was already done. <laughs> oh fuck! So when you picked that phone up, it was you from the beginning of the game! Here! I have so many questions! But this is confirming... This, this did confirm my one theory. Seeing her blood meant seeing her die had to do something fast. Okay, so we gotta get downstairs pronto, cause we're- I'm pretty sure we're in the end game now, with all these fucking locusts everywhere. Run, dude man protagonist guy, it is your destiny. Come on, dude, man, protagonist guy, go through. 
Go through the sea of locusts. It is your destiny. Alright, I see you're going. Ah, oh, fuck. We gotta get downstairs. And fast. All these fucking handprints. Okay, down we go. Yep. And the window's broken now. I've also noticed the dude man's limping way worse than what he was, like his wounds back. I gotta hit that light switch in here, cause the ghost's blocking the way. Okay. Fucking locusts everywhere. Alright, I got a feeling we're about to hit the bridge of no return when we go to the attic. Okay, okay. Easy does it. Whew! Alright. We are reconquering the downstairs. I just want to get one more save in. Okay. And now we go to the depths. I could smell from here the scent of murder and madness which emanated from below. Selena's story was one of light, trying to survive in the night of a nation long corrupted by darkness. I have to admit it. I was afraid of what I would find at the end of that path. Me and you both. End of chapter 4, The Scent of Blood. Achievement unlocked, it's so metal. Okay, and we're down in the basement. Chapter 5, Between Praise and Hunter. Other picture. Oh shit, this... This is Margaret. And that's... That's... A picture of what she looked like as a ghost. Her blind. Her face blotted out. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're in the end game now.
Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure we're in the end game now. And I have a feeling the spirits are gonna be ultra intensity at this point. So, I'm hoping... Seems like a great day for a run, eh? Fucking ghosts multiplying like bitches. Okay, here we go. Gotcha. Gotcha! Okay. This pipe seemed to link to the rest of the mansion. Well, I heard another ghost die. So we're going to leave the lamplight on the chair so we can save. This, this is the big brain move right here. Oh yeah, look at that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the basement's the end of the game. Like... I really don't see how you could do another chapter unless if it's you trying to escape the house. Not what I meant to do. So I'm pretty sure we're either caught in the middle and we died, and that's why we can see Selena, or we're actual, actually William. That's what I'm feeling at this point. Another note. Victims no eight. God damn it. Victim no... Victims know eight. Victims eight of ten. My darling, this night I spent with you was wonderful, and I want to have more of it. Don't worry about people or what they say. They just don't understand. I do. I understand your concern. I went down that road to find the light. To ha You have to step out of the shadows. I did it five years ago. You don't have to go yell in the street. Just be honest with yourself. Let me guide you towards this freedom. You're the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. I want to mix my lips with yours. My hair with your hair. Bent on you. 
losing myself into your eyes, your hands on my hips. Let's see each other tonight. I'll come get you, Judah Phillips. It's it's been too long since I've played, but was Judith the name of of the other doctor the people were going to go see? Okay. Is that a bust? Yep. Boston News. The plan of the seller was tangible proof that the world still had a solid structure. I was desperately holding on to it. Yeah, you and me both, pal. So there was the monster fed by the pipes. The wire diagram obviously linked to the electrical panel. And this valve seemed to link the boiler to the rest of the mansion. This valve was probably controlling the water input. A water inlet probably supplying the whole mansion. Okay, so this is pretty much all the power, water, and everything. <laughs> this totally isn't a murder-rape dungeon. I had a terrible premonition about Selena. I was running out of time. The handcuffs, still bored, scabs of dried blood, the victims probably struggled violently. I tried not to imagine what the wolf could have done to them. Was I really that stranger I had on the phone hours ago? He was living his own nightmare. Now, mine wasn't over yet. Selena's escape. Selena was facing me, her thousand stars stinging my eyes, unaccustomed to the light. Her hand was warm and weightless. Then her fear came, something behind me, and I lost her again. Are you sure it was behind you and not really you? Then we got an electrical panel right here. Not today, bitch.